Now we shall be learning the most modern theory about covalent bond that is known as molecular orbital theory MOT This theory was given by Mulliken One important limitation of valency bond theory was that it could not explain the paramagnetic nature of oxygen molecule MOT is superior to that in this respect at least that it can explain the paramagnetic nature of O2 molecular orbital theory MOT is based on an important principle known as linear combination of atomic orbitals that is leco l c a o well the important points or principles of mot are as follows the first point is when two atoms combine to form a molecule then their orbitals undergo linear combination this combination will be most effective when the combining orbitals are of similar energy that's why in the formation of a homonuclear diatomic molecule the 1s orbital of one atom will combine with 1s orbital of another atom and so on thus when two atomic orbitals combine they produce two new molecular orbitals m o the second point is since an atomic orbital is represented by psi the wave function and so linear combination of two atomic orbitals means a linear combination of two psi functions or more qualitatively we assume that two electron waves interfere with one another since interference can be constructive or destructive so linear combination of their wave function can be addition or subtraction therefore if you suppose psi a and psi b be two wave functions then they may combine to give two new wave functions as psi a plus psi b and psi a differ by psi b or say psi a minus psi b psi a plus psi b will represent bonding molecular orbital it will be of lower energy than the average energy of psi a and psi b but psi a minus psi b will represent anti bonding molecular orbital and its energy will be higher than the average of atomic orbitals in fact this upward energy displacement is slightly greater than the downward displacement the anti bonding molecular orbital is identified by putting an asterisk on its symbol as we are going to see soon after a bonding molecular orbital is such that electron density increases in the internuclear region hence the repulsion between the two nuclei is minimum that's why it's of lower energy and more stability it contributes towards bonding but there is a node at the center of an anti bonding molecular orbital which reduces the electron density in the internuclear region hence repulsion between the two nuclei is maximum 
That's why its energy is higher and its stability is less. In other words, it works against bonding, hence the name. A pictorial presentation of linear combination of S and P atomic orbitals is shown below. Look into this figure. We find that one S orbital combines with one S orbital to form two new molecular orbitals. One is of lower energy known as sigma 1s. Another is of higher energy that is sigma asterisk 1s. Similarly, 2px orbital of one atom combines with 2px orbital of another atom. Again the two new molecular orbitals are being formed. The molecular orbital of lower energy is sigma 2px and that of higher energy is sigma asterisk 2px. Similarly, a combination of 2 py orbital of one atom with 2 py orbital of another atom forms two new molecular orbitals. The molecular orbital of lower energy is pi 2 py and that of higher energy is pi asterisk 2 py. Here in this molecule we are supposing it's very important to suppose x axis is our molecular axis. There is no binding. You can choose any axis as the molecular axis. But in our all the future examples we shall be selecting x axis as the molecular axis. That's why the linear combination of two px orbitals is giving sigma type of molecular orbitals. The other combinations of py py and pz pz will obviously give pi type of molecular orbitals. The third point is a molecular orbital may be further gyrate means symmetrical or ungyrate means antisymmetric. If psi function changes its sign on moving equal distance from the center of internuclear region, then it is ungyrate, otherwise gyrate. For example, consider sigma asterisk 1s or in general any sigma antibonding s molecular orbital. The shape is as given here. We find that on moving equal distances from the center of nodal plane in the opposite direction if psi function of molecular orbital becomes positive on the left then it becomes negative on the right or vice versa. Hence, sigma antibonding 1s or in general sigma antibonding ns is a ungyrate molecular orbital. In this manner, we can decide their nature. The results will be sigma 1s gyrate sigma antibonding 1s ungyrate sigma 2px gyrate sigma antibonding 2px ungyrate pi 2py or pi 2pz ungyrate pi antibonding 2py or pi antibonding 2pz will be gyrate here is a very important note the principal quantum number may be 
any other higher number but shape and character will remain same mind it we have selected as i have already told you x axis as molecular axis that's why py and pz are forming pi type of molecular orbitals number 4 each molecular orbital irrespective of its nature will behave like an atomic orbital that is it cannot accommodate more than two electrons in it and that with anti parallel spin as demanded by pauli exclusion principle the fifth point is for a diatomic molecule in this manner a set of various molecular orbitals is obtained which are arranged in the increasing order of energy then the total number of electrons of both the atoms are fed into these molecular orbitals from the molecular orbital of lowest energy level to higher and higher till all the electrons are exhausted during this course hunt's rule is obeyed wherever needed sixth point finally the bond order for the molecule is calculated by the formula bond order means the number of bonds between the bonded atoms is equal to nb minus na upon 2 where nb and na means the total number of bonding and anti bonding electrons in that molecule the bond order may come out to be zero an integer or even fractional but never negative 